how to add a voiceover to your video. Hiya, Adam Payne here with the Video Marketing Insider and that is what we're going to look at in today's short tutorial and we're gonna be using Wave.video. So I've opened up my Wave.video account and I've created a very short demo video to demonstrate how to do this. We've got some scenes and we've got some text. If you want to learn how to properly use the scenes, the text and all of the other features and functionalities of Wave.video, then I have a full review that I'll link to below this video in the description somewhere. But to keep it short and sweet, I've got this video created and by default, Wave, as you can see down here in this audio file, has added some background music. So first thing we'll do is we'll hit play and we'll listen to this background music. Okay, not very good to be perfectly honest. So if you want to delete the background track, just click on it once and you'll see this little trash can. We'll click on this and it's gone now. So right now there's absolutely no audio. So in order for us to add an audio, we need to click on this little icon here, add a voice. And you can see that three options pop up. We can have auto text to speech, which is where they use one of their auto voices. There are tons of tools and softwares out there that do this, and a lot of people buy things such as Wave.video for this function alone. However, it's my personal opinion that they all sound fairly bad, fairly robotic, and it's very hard to build out an audience if you're gonna create videos with a robotic voice. But we will touch on this later. But the first thing I'm gonna do is upload an audio. So we're gonna look at this feature here, and I think this is the best one. So I'm gonna click on Upload Audio and then we're gonna click on Uploads, and we need to upload an audio file from our computer, whether it's an MP4 or a, uh, an MP3 or a WAV file, it doesn't matter. So we click on Upload Files. So let me just come down and find it. I've got it somewhere. There we go, Affirmation. So we'll click on Open, and now that's gonna open this file and it's gonna basically put it inside of our wave.video account. And in a second, it will be ready to go. So we'll just wait for a couple of seconds and then we'll need to click on it to automatically add it to our video. Once that's done, I'm gonna show you how to sync it and edit it to make sure that it's all good. So we click on add. Okay, so we can see that there's an audio file that's been added. If I click on this to highlight it, you can see that this particular example is three minutes and 11 seconds long, whereas my sample video is about 21, 22 seconds long. So there's gonna be a lot of the audio that we don't need. So the first thing you'll want to do is press play and go through and see how well or poorly the original sync is and then edit it accordingly. And we're gonna do that right now. So let's press play. How to create your own affirmations. So you can just see from there, um, the scene ended too quickly. And I can see there's a little bit of silence here between the first sentence where she said how to create your own affirmations and then the second sentence. So what you want to do is click here where it becomes all blue and then kind of drag it across somewhere that you think is right. Then come in here and click the actual text and drag that along too. And now we'll press play again and let's check this. How to create your own affirmations. From belief systems that tell us we're unworthy to constant blame. Okay, so again, we saw the first switch was fine, but this second one, we need to basically drag this across. So let's see if that makes it better. Now I'm just going to go back and play it from the start. How to create your own affirmations. From belief systems that tell us we're unworthy. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this back a little bit click on this and bring this back as well and then i'll just click somewhere here so that we don't have to play from the start and we'll play it from this particular point tell us we're unworthy to constant blame okay so that wasn't good was it so again we'll bring that across a little bit and we'll try it again worthy to constant blame the you see there's a little bit of playing around here we're going to bring this here i think and then i'm going to click on this and i'm going to bring this like this so we can see that this bit of text correlates with this bit of audio, and that should be good. Let's just double check. Okay. ...that tell us we're unworthy to constant blame. These thoughts show up in different ways. If you pay close attention, you'll notice that how you talk to yourself affects your overall outlook on life. Welcome to the video. Okay, so we're doing a bit better now. Let's just kind of bring this across. So we can see here where she says, welcome to the video, but this piece, this scene lasts too long. So I'm gonna bring this back to about here so we can see that this scene will end 
kind of somewhere here. So again, let's just click here, press play. Welcome to the video. Today, we'll be covering how to create your own affirmations. Let's dive in. Okay, so one last change. Let's dive in. So let's bring this here. And then let's click on this bit where she says, let's dive in and let's just stretch this out. And if this is good, we should be done. So one more check. Your own affirmations. Let's dive in. Okay, so we're good. So now if I just click somewhere here in the audio, let's just click here at the end. We can then click the little scissors to split it. And then this little bit here, we can click on this and we can delete it. So that's gone. So now we've actually got a video which is synced to the audio and then we can publish and we can download this video to our hard drive. We can put it on YouTube, Vimeo, wherever we really want to put it. And that is how simple it is. Obviously, the first time that you try these things, there's a little bit of trial and error and a learning curve. But once you get used to it, you can run through fairly quickly. So that is how you can upload and sync an audio. Let me just click on this and delete this completely. And we'll click on this little uh, add a voice. If you want to, you can use the record your own voice and you can record your audio within the system. I don't do this. I use Audacity, which is a free software, works on a Mac or a PC. I use that to record the audio or have somebody else record an audio. And then I upload it as I showed you previously. But if you don't want to do that, you can click on record your voice. Wave wants to use your microphone and then you can start speaking. Yep. From belief systems that tell us we're unworthy to constant blame, blah, blah, blah. And then you can hit stop and then you can press play. Yep. From belief systems that tell us we're unworthy to constant blame. And then you can add the voice if you want to or you continue recording. That isn't a function that I use much because as I said, I prefer to upload an audio. Now, for those people <clears throat> that don't want to do either of those things and you want to use an auto text to speech option, you can. Just bear in mind that it's going to sound like a robot and the amount of time and effort that you play around with it to try and make it sound semi human, you're better off just getting somebody real to read it out. But just to show you how to do it, we've got languages. So we could come down and we could just choose you know, anything really. I'm going to choose US English. Um, the voice, they've got different voices, female voices, male voices. Again, I've not gone through and tried all of these. Some of these are going to be better than others. So I could choose, or let's choose Matthew. Okay, and we can just click on this and we can hit, um, we've got to put the text in here. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my file and I'm just going to copy that bit of um, text from the actual script previously. Plonk that in there and then we hit generate voice. And let's press play and it's not gonna sound that good. How to create your own affirmations. From belief systems that tell us we're unworthy to constant blame, these thoughts show up in different- You get the idea. I mean, is it terrible? Maybe not. Is it great? No. Now, if despite all this, you are insistent on using a text-to-speech software, I don't recommend Waves one. I recommend something called Well Said Labs. That being said, that is still a bit of an expensive option and you're going to have to use that to create your voiceover, download it, upload it to wave.video and sync it the way I showed you previously. And you're just better off going to Fiverr to get somebody real to read out your scripts or you do it yourself using Audacity. Fiverr is the option, of course, if you really don't want to share your own voice. But if you don't have the budget to do that, just read your, read it script out aloud. You're better off doing it that way. And your video is going to sound much more natural. Obviously, there are people that are going to ignore that advice and still use the text-to-speech function. But don't kind of come back and wonder why your video doesn't convert very well. It's because people don't want to hear a robot. Simple as that. So anyway, hopefully this video has shown you the different functions of wave.video when it comes to the audio. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to learn more about wave.video, there are links in the description. And if you click on the eye in the right of this video, you can see some other related videos as well. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you soon. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need more clarification, go and watch the video once more. Over on the right hand side, we have have some more trainings and reviews so go and watch those as well please hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already and hit the bell notification other than that ask any questions you've got below and i'll see you soon